tip seven, master power query. Hmm. This is cool. To me, I think this is the number one tip. So I didn't arrange these tips in order. I just typed them all from my head, really. I just, but I think this is your number one tip. Go and master power query. And the reason is very simple. Nothing happens without data. Nothing happens. So nothing happens without data. So Power Query is the data collection god. <laughs> it is the data it is the tool that enables you collect data, bring in data, clean up data. In fact, it's an ETL, which means it's an extract, transform, and load tool. That's what it does. It extracts, transforms, and loads data. Right? So if I come into my um, go to Excel, you can see it now. Power Query is such an amazing tool. It helps you automate the cleanup process. So it helps you automate cleanup in a, in a wonderful way. So how do you access it? Now, it depends on the version of Excel you have. If you have Excel 2010, well, you're out of luck. You shouldn't even have Excel 2010. Guys, I mean, you need to update. If you have Excel 2013, well, that's when Power Query was born. So you could download it for free. I think you could also download it for 2010. I'm not sure, but really you shouldn't be using 2010. So Excel 2013, you download Power Query for free. In Excel 2016, it was added to the data tab. So if you go to the data tab and in Excel 2016, um, you'll see it in the data tab next to um, um, get external data. So you see something here called get external data and then you see the data tab. Now in, in Excel, Power Query is called get and transform data. Because Power Query is an ETL, it's extract, transform, and loads data for you. So it's called get and transform. You'll see it if you have Excel 2016, if you have Excel 2019, but most especially if you have Office 365. If you have Office 365, you would definitely have it here as get and transform. Then when I come to get data, and then you see all the ways you can connect to data. So anytime you're bringing in data, never use anything else. Use Power Query. Now, Power Query is so 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 cool and important that it's everywhere. So Power, Power BI has Power Query. I think it's, it's called Power Query and Power BI. In Excel, it's called Get and Transform. In Azure, when you're using Azure and working with Azure, it's called Data Flows. So Data Flows are, is also Power Query. It uses the Power Query, and Power Query has a language an M language, it's called M. So if I come here, for example, and do a blank query, so I click on a blank query, you're gonna see it's gonna open the Power Query application. And this application is a click, click, click. As you're clicking, you're basically um, building out, you're building out your Power Query, uh, Power Query. Let me pull in the application so you can have a look at it. So, oh, hold on a second. So this is the Power Query application. And this is what you use to to kind of um, transform your data. Yeah, so go check it out online. It's cool. As you do stuff, it's recording it here, and the recording is, is a language called M, M language, right? It's, it's really cool stuff. I can't uh, overemphasize how cool this thing is. It's super cool, super, super cool, right? So let me close this, All right? I just close Power Query, check it out. And that gives me the two extra skills you need. You need to learn Power Pivot and DAX. You also need to learn Power Query. Let me make it capital. Power Query. And you need to learn this language called M. Yeah? So these are skills you must master. If you want to become a guru, you need to know these skills. There's no other choice. And uh, I can tell you, once you know these skills, once you know this, you can build enterprise and enterprise scale applications for companies. Yeah, super. Let's jump back to our tips.